everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then just take a moment now to subscribe to the channel and also click on that little bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new crochet tutorial. So in this step-by-step -step tutorial I will be showing you how to crochet these really simple but really beautiful sunflowers. So they would be great just to use maybe even as a coaster or you can obviously use them as appliques or even as the start of some other sort of project like framed flowers or something they would work really beautifully. They're really really simple to do, they don't take much time at all so you're just going to need your brown and your yellow yarn and whatever hook size that yarn recommends and we will just jump straight in. So you want to start with your slip knot on your hook and we're going to do a chain three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three. So we're going to be working our stitches into the first chain and then the two chains that are after that is going to count as our first treble. So please do remember that I'm working in UK terms so in the US these are double crochet. So we're going to work all of the next stitches into our very first chain so you're going to yarn over, insert into that first chain, yarn over and pull up, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is your first treble. So we've got two trebles now as I say because that first chain two counts as our first treble and then we've just done a normal one. We want to have a total of 12 trebles in this first round all worked into that centre. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. And just continue until you have got 12 treble crochets including the chain two. Okay so once you've got your 12 including your chain two you want to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. So you'll have your first V here which is the top of your first proper treble so it's the stitch just next to that which will be the top of your chain two. So you're going to yarn over and pull through both. So that is round one. You're then going to chain two which is going to count as our first treble and then back into that same space you're going to put another treble so straight back into where you've just come from you'll do another treble and then into your very next stitch which is this one just here you will do two trebles so you want to do two trebles into every single stitch of the round make sure you're going through the whole of the stitch each time getting both loops on the top so you will put two trebles into each stitch all the way around so at the end of this round you should have 24 stitches so I will meet you at the other end in just a second so I've just double checked I've got my 24 stitches and again I'm ready to slip stitch to the top of that chain 2 so that is how we should be looking at this point. Again, we're going to chain two into the next stitch. So that has come up from this treble here. So you're going to go into your next stitch, which is this one here. And you'll do two trebles. One. Oops. And two. One treble into the next stitch and two trebles into the next stitch. So you'll alternate that all the way around. So you'll do one treble and then increase. So an increase is when you work two trebles into the same stitch. So you'll go one treble, increase, one treble, increase, one treble, increase all the way around. And at the end of this round you should have 36 stitches. So as you get back round you should be finishing with two trebles into the same stitch and you should have 36 stitches all the way around. So you're going to slip stitch once more into the top of that chain two. I'm going to be changing colours so I'm going to chain one, snip off and then pull that tail out. So there is our centre for our sunflower. So I've got my yellow, I've got my slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start into any stitch of the round and I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, 
pull through both. So that is our first double crochet. So this round is double crochets and chain stitches, but remember in the US terms these will be your single crochets. So I've got one and I want to do one into the next stitch, chain four, and then back into the same stitch that you've just done your double crochet into, you'll put another double crochet back into that same stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. You'll then do one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then into the next stitch you will do a double crochet, chain four, and back into the same stitch, a double crochet. And then again one double crochet into the next two stitches and then into the next you'll do double crochet, chain four, back into the same double crochet oh, and then a double crochet back into that same stitch. And you'll just repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you in just a second. So I've worked that all the way around, I've just completed my final double, chain four, double into that stitch and I've got one final stitch to work into so I'll do my final double crochet into that stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch to where we started from. So that is how you should look at this point and we're then ready to do our final round which is our petal round. So we want to chain one just to get up from that slip stitch a little bit and then into our first loop that we've created here we're going to put five treble crochets so that's five double crochet in US terms so yarn over into your first loop yarn over and pull up and complete your treble so that's one so then you will complete your next treble so we've now got two so we want a total of five at this point three four Five. I just need to scooch them round a little bit. You then want to chain three and then you're going to work through these two loops. So on the side of this stitch here you'll have two loops that you can work through. So this one and the one next to it, just here. And then you will slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both loops. And that gives us a little pico just here which will create a nice tip on our petals and then we're going to work back down and we'll do five treble crochets again back into that same space so that's our first petal we then want to work a slip stitch in between these two double crochets so you'll have two double crochets separating our petals and you just want to slip stitch in between those two double crochet and then you'll start your next petal straight away into your next little loop so again you'll do your five trebles so you'll go straight into that next loop We're going to create a little pico again, so you're going to chain three and then you're going to work through those two loops on the side of this stitch and slip stitch. And then your five trebles back down in that same loop. And then again you're ready to slip stitch down in between your two double crochets that separate your loops. So slip stitch down to there and you'll just complete that all the way around and I'll meet you in just a second. I've just completed my final petal and I'm just ready now to slip stitch down in between those double crochets. 
So I'll slip stitch, chain one. And then pull that out and pull that down. So besides having a few tails to sew in, that is how you should be looking at the end of your sunflower. So I really hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment as well and come and find me on Instagram. All of the information is in the description box but I will see you for another video really soon. But thanks as always for watching and bye for now.